This is another how-to video. We're going to show you how to replace a toilet. Today, it's cheaper just to replace the toilet than to fix it. The oh, problem with this old toilet is, if you look inside the top here, it keeps, it keeps running on. You can see that the ball is up as far as it'll go, but it's not shutting off. It's got this old brass mechanism here, and it fills up, and it's gone, you can see it's gone higher than the high water mark on that. So the first thing we're going to do is on every toilet, there's not always a shutoff valve, but this one has a shutoff valve. You always just try to turn those clockwise. If you don't have a shutoff valve here, you have to go down the basement and turn all the water off in the house. Now, after I get that off, I'm, I'm going to get rid of all the water that I can. This time I'm just going to hold this up. See this flapper down here? I'm going to hold it up till it's, all the water's out of there first. Now, if you look there, there's still about a half a gallon of water. There's two ways to get that out. One of them is with a sponge and a bucket. Just, this is the clean part of the water. It just takes a minute to pull it all out. You can use a, a rag. Because any water you leave in this toilet is going to end up on the floor when you pop the toilet out. Unless you don't care, you can clean up the floor later. Okay, I'm I'm prepared to do this another way. If you see here, I brought a wet vac. And I'm going to get the rest of the water out. So this thing holds a gap, or one five gallons of water, and vac. next thing is to get rid of the water in the toilet tank. Now, I can do it like this again to get the major bulk of it out because it's quick and easy. There's all kinds of ways you could do this. You could do it with a small paper cup if you want. You could do it with a rag. Now, you ladies at home, if you don't know how to clean a toilet, a very good way is to do what I'm doing, is to take all the water out of the toilet and just spread cleanser or bleach around here. When it's dry, you'll be able to get all this area that's below the water line. Okay, now I'm going to get the rest with the uh, vacuum again, just because this is easy. First step. Now, I've got the water shut off, and I want to disconnect the toilet. You can call it the power line or whatever you want to call it. Just You can do this with a pliers or a pipe wrench. dripping, but there's nothing really to worry about. Okay, now that that's done, you see right here on each side of the toilet, there's bolts also that need to come off, and that'll disconnect it from the floor. 
they're normally brass. They uh, they changed those years ago. People used to put steel ones in, and they would rust on. You couldn't get them off too easily. If you have a toilet that's stuck, you can you can take right here with a hammer and bust the toilet off, and then deal with the uh, bolts later on. That's that's going to happen one out of ten toilets. Trying to tell you anything that you might run into. A lot of times you start with a bolt and it, the bolt will start spinning. You won't be able to get it off. You can also take and try to cut that off. That will take you more time than it will to put the whole toilet in. And then we're going to repeat this process on the other side. I'm going to buy new bolts, like I always do. Now look, you pop these two things off. There's two washers. And right now, the toilet is loose. Let me show you how you can just pick it up. Right like that. It's halfway out. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see on the other side, but I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, on this side, there's a cap that's covering the bolt. I'm just going to hit that off. And uh, I'm not really trying to save anything here. I'm going to show you how this side can come off with a pliers. The other side I used a wrench. Actually, a pliers very fast. Okay, now I'm going to take these two off again. I'm going to just pop those off. Loosen them up a little bit. Okay, now I'm ready to pull the toilet out. What I do is... Instead of using my muck, my back and all that, I just tip the toilet forward by grabbing the tank and just pulling it forward. And actually, I'm not lifting the toilet. I'm tipping it over. And it's out. Now, if there was water in the toilet, you'd have a mess right now. I'd like to show you the next step. And I'm not ready for it because I have to go get a chisel. Okay, now I'm going to pull these bolts out. There's a slot, so they come out the side normally. It's not going to come out till I get the wax ring out, but sometimes they do. There's a... Uh, see this wax here? It's real simple. you got to pull that off. All of these toilets have like what's called a wax ring. If you notice all this dirt around here, that's not what you think it is. It's just dirt from the place being older. You could, I can tell you one thing. This toilet hasn't been pulled out of here for a minimum of 20 years. It's well kept. You can use a screwdriver, chisel, spatula. You can use a kitchen butter knife to pull this thing out. Now, look, there's a ring here. I have to try to get that off now that I can see it. And you just sometimes fight it a little bit. I normally use the pliers here to pull this out. But what's happened here is they put a couple layers of flooring in here. I gotta break that out because it's it's up higher. Still not getting it, but I'll get it in a second here. This okay, look, I want to show you what this bolt is. The reason it doesn't turn, it's long, so it, it goes in there and it locks, so you can tighten it up. Same with the other side here. There's a nail to There it is. Now, if you look here, these are slotted. So when I go to put the bolt back in, I'm just going to push it in to the slot like that. 
Okay, next step is to make sure that you know how long the supply line is on the old toilet, or if you're planning to use it over again, I'm more than likely going to use the supply line over again because it looks brand new. Normally these are on only hand tight. I'm going to try to see if it is. Yeah, it is. And since it's brand new, I'm going to go ahead and stay with it. But let me tell you what a supply line size is. After I get it off here, look. The top has a little washer inside. It's called half inch pipe. And the bottom has a little washer inside. It's three eighths inch pipe. If you look at the length, it's around nine inches or a foot. Always get a longer one. You could get, you know, 12, 16 inches, and you could do this with it because they're flexible. There's two types of these supply lines. One has the steel cladding on it, and the other one is just plain plastic. I buy the steel cladded one, not hoping, but just in case there's mice in the house, they'll try to eat through that because this will sweat and they'll be, they'll be licking on it. They'll know there's more to it than that. Okay, thank you. Okay, we're in our local home supply store. I'd like to show you the difference in toilets. Here's one for $314. You can see here the prices are going down. Here's one for $279, $238, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000,
before I do anything more, I'm going to open up the tank. I mean, the, the, the bolt part, I'm sorry, but here. They're using shrink wrap. A little bit harder to open. Of course, if you notice, those three, four hundred dollar filets were wrapped in fancy boxes. assemble the toilet before I put it there. Now, the first thing I did was I put that ring on there. You see these two holes? That's where the bolts are going to come on. And if you see this thing here, I'm going to pop this off and throw it away because I'm going to use the new water supply line that goes right in here. I'm going to put that on right away. Take both of those items, throw them away, put this baby on here. And I'm going to just put it on hand tight. There we go, it's on. Now, I'm going to set this thing up here. There's two holes here. Oh, you don't have to really worry about lining it up, it's just going to fall right into place. because there's something a little bit different about this toilet because there's more washers in there. Next thing is pitcher instructions. The best. You don't have to worry about what language they're written in. And guess what? They don't show you any of the washer configuration. Oh. This washer looks like it goes inside here. You have to, you're going to have to look down in the toilet bowl for me to put this in. Make, make this job easier. I'm going to pull the float ball off of here so I have more room to put my hand inside there. harder to get into first. Right here. See that? Flip it in. Drop, drop it in there. Push it down a little bit. It would naturally push down when you tighten it up anyway. Now let's do the other one. It's just a, a seal. Push it up as much as you can. Put it on there. Okay. And on the other end of this, I have these two nuts and two washers. So, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. I'm going to start them and then I'm going to put it over here. No, you're not going to be able to see it. But anyway. I'm going to slip the washer up first, and then after that's in, I'm going to snug, I'm going to just start the nut on each side. Same on the other side here. Put the, grab both of them, push the washer up first, and then put the nut in place next. Now, I'm going to tighten these up. First, I'm going to get them all the way up by hand a little bit so they're snug. You're always going to have to put the toilet together unless you buy that $400 one that's considered top of the line one piece toilet. I'm just going to tighten these up here. You can use a pliers or a crescent wrench, open end box wrench, any kind of tool you want. Okay, I'm going to start tightening up these nuts, and I'm going to try to make this kink look even.
Now today's toilets move a lot more than the old style ones. They're made to uh, last a lot longer. Tighten them up and try to get this tank to look level across here. And they don't have to be super tight. Anybody can do this. Like you see, I'm tightening each side separately at a time. Okay, I think I'm ready to go. Okay, now I'm going to open up a box with a wax, wax ring on it. There's number one, number twos, and the more expensive one is the one that has the nuts in it. So here's, here's two sets of nuts. Some are longer. Carpenter's problem is he always opens the stuff up with his teeth. That's why we have carpenter's teeth. Now, I'm going to show you how to set it up. There's a plastic retention ring, and you, you put both of those on first. And what that's going to do is, watch, when I put it on here, I'm just going to push it down the rest of the way and lock it into place. And it'll just hold it temporarily for me. Instead of, if you saw, we had to pull a nail out. I just spotted another nail in here. And that's what they got used to hold these in. And like I say, they've, they've eliminated that problem just by putting that plastic retention ring in there. Yeah, I'll put the other bolt on here. You just slip it in there and you push this down to help hold it in place. Now, the wax ring, take a look here. It's got a hole in it. You just take it and hold on to the, the back end of this and pull it off. Like this. And you, you never actually have to touch the wax if you don't want to. But pretty much you just set, set that ring right on there. Like that. Now, I'm going to show you what I call the easy way put the toilet on, you just tip it forward and kind of walk it up to where it was. That way you don't have to lift the whole thing off the ground. And when you bring it down, you just follow one of the nuts down. Now look, if you look through the top hole here, you'll see that it just sets right in. Do that on both sides. And it just sets right in there. Now, I tried to push down a real little bit to set it in place. Same thing again now. I have a washer and I have that round chromium nut. I want to show you how simple it is to put these on. Put the washer on first and then put the nut on there. Snug it down as far as you can before you put the other one on. I'm pushing the toilet down a little bit this way because it helps me on that. Same on this side here. I'll just set the washer in here first. And then put the nut in place. line 
Now let's snug it up tight with Remember, this has a nice rubber gaskets inside, so you don't really don't have to put them on real tight. If they leak, you tighten them up after you find them leaking, just a little bit. Okay, now I'm ready to turn the water back on again. That's how quick we basically done. First thing I'm doing is going to fill up the tank, but i got to look down here, look, to make sure that I'm not leaking. Sometimes if you don't open that valve all the way, it immediately starts dripping right here. All you have to do is open it all the way and that will stop that from leaking. We're not leaking down here. And look how quickly we're filling up here. Now, remember, I pulled the ball off. i got to get that back on there. Real quickly. I'd like to show you there's a thing called a water line right here. This thing should turn off right about there when it gets up to that point. It's so nice, there's no assembly putting the guts together, meaning you'd have to put this together and that together and the flap. It's going a little bit above that, but it should cut off. Now, if it doesn't cut off, I'm going to show you how to fix that. It didn't cut off. So what you do is you want to test that. You can take a screwdriver and tighten this little set screw up here so it shuts off easier earlier. If you also take a look, our, coil, our bowl itself is filling up. Okay, we're going test, to test it once here. Our bowl filled up. For the first time, it's going to run a little longer. Test flushing it. Okay, back to this again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to and bolts. Let's take a look at that. Let's shove that in there. Both of them. Both line that up. And I'm going to show you before I put one on the bottom. It's just real simple. You just, now it, when it's on there, all I have to do is spin that off the bottom. Put it in here. Put that on the bottom. I have the nut on them. You can pretty much do this with any type of a screwdriver now. Let's snug these up. They're plastic. Plastic's great because if you ever have to change the toilet seat, you don't have any problem pulling these off. Remember I bought a small caulk here. I'm going to cut 
cut off a little bit of the tip. And what we're doing is we're going to run a seam of caulk what that does is it locks that toilet in so it doesn't move around for 10 years. It's not about how pretty it looks, it's about how it locks the toilet in place. I'm going to tell you more about caulking. If you saw, I cut that off at an angle. So what it allows me is to bridge that crack by forcing it into the angle. If you notice, right in the front here, I have a little tiny air pocket. Then I'm just going to go over it the second time and get rid of that. Put the top on this. And I'm ready to build the guy. Okay. I'm going to put the top, the top thing on the toilet. Just put it right on. I'm going to pull off the plastic. Flush it. We're great. We're all done here.